If you head on over to Mirza.shop, we are currently running the new March promotion. For those of you who are unaware, we do monthly promotions on Mirza.shop every single month. This month, however, we are doing things a little differently. We are running three concurrent offers at the exact same time. Check this out. If your order total is above $60, you will get 5 million power credits. Now, what if your order is above $80? What you will get is you'll get the 5 million power credits for having your order at 60, but you'll also get 2,000 nth metal for having your order above 80. Now what if you go above and beyond? Now if you go above and beyond and order something that's above $100, not only will you get the power credits, and not only will you get the nth metal, but you'll also get 1,500 energy. What I want to do here is I want to have more than one offer for you guys for the whole month. I have gotten feedback from the past that people want more tiers or more rewards from these offers. So that's what I want to do. So you have three tiers for the March offer. So check it out if you guys need any more help. If you're still a little confused or if you have more questions about Mirza.shop, you guys can see there is a chat with us button on the website. You should see it. You can tap on that. We already have the most common questions answered already, so check it out. Definitely check out the new March offer for this month only. The link for this website will be in the description down below. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Phantom Zone. I'm going to talk about everything about Phantom Zone. Everything pertaining to Phantom Zone. So, let's just get one thing out of the way. If you're interested in Phantom Zone, you're probably interested in metal characters, nth metal, Valorium currency. Keep in mind that nth metal is a lot easier to get than Valorium. Valorium is by far the hardest currency to get only because it's not available anywhere else except Phantom Zone, which is kind of upsetting. I can prove this too. If you go to the store and if you go to currencies, you guys can see that there's credits and look, there's nth metal, but no Valorium. You see, this is where Phantom Zone comes in. This is why you'd play Phantom Zone, to get metal cards, to get nth metal, and to mostly get more Valorium. So, Phantom Zone is especially useful. Um, the rewards are good. However, you gotta be careful as to how you approach this, all right? So, when you first enter Phantom Zone, all right, I have to take into consideration what kind of accounts you guys have. So, once you get to this screen, uh, there's a lot there's a lot here okay first thing you want to do is look at the top right all right you need five crystals you have zero there's also a help page right here if you tap on it it actually gives you a tutorial and a lot of people don't even know this shit look at that do you see that shit after you choose a difficulty you have to then do the objectives or the trials to open up the main boss fight so what do you choose when it comes to picking the difficulty in phantom zone mm, i am talking to a audience so i do have to take into consideration that a lot of you guys have varying accounts all right so how do i say this in the most nicest way possible um if you have like a booty account i'm sorry i'm sorry if you have like a new account that you started you know maybe less than a year ago six months ago you might want to stay in trainee or if you're really sweaty you could do veteran or if you're just really good at the game you would do elite if you want to be safe just do training okay or do veteran all right but if you want to just go into it you know guns blazing then do elite you guys can see that the rewards for elite are pretty good i can receive 25 to 50 nth metal 250 to 500 valorium alloy you know that stuff is always hot so we're gonna be doing elite so tap on elite and then you guys can see right here look at this perform 195 total specials but nurza how the hell do i perform the specials relax all right objective bonuses are your best friends okay objective bonuses pretty much fast forward to the boss fight objective bonuses make this game mode incredibly fun because you can speed run it all right i like the fact that you can speed run these objectives and just burn through them so what you want to do all right whenever you see your objectives or your trials you want to look at the times three bonus so right here win match with full team win three online battles in a row so immediately what i'm going to do in my head is i'm going to go Pretty much to online because that's like the only fun game mode i'm gonna jump into online 
I'm going to try to keep my entire team alive while doing these objectives. So let's see for a second, all right? Let's break it down. So let's see. Inflict 400,000 dot damage. Who is a great dot character for online that I could use? A character that I could put, you know, the Ibistic or the Heart of Darkness on. Some good dot gear. Gaslight Batman, for example. A great dot character. Perfect for taking on this objective. Let's look at this. Steel, 9,000 power. Um, this is different, alright? Because a lot of people don't know what it means when the objective says steel, 9,000 power. So, I want to quickly go over what characters you could rock to power steel, okay? So, the first character is Yellow Lantern Hal Jordan, okay? Specifically, his passive lets you power steal. Next up is the Batman Who Laughs. This guy, his specific tarot card has a power steal uh, chance. So, if you get his power steal tarot card, then that does count as power steal. Next up is Metal Shazam or New 52 Shazam. Um, this guy, you know, just focus on getting his dark powers. Also, keep in mind that other gears can also power steal for you, okay? So make sure you have the Necron Scythe and the Quake Engine. Those do count as power steal. What's really interesting is that power steal is a is kind of like power drain in the first place. It's just that power steal was introduced way later into the game and it functions, it behaves the same way like power drain. So it's really impossible to tell when you've successfully power stolen or power drained, okay? You know, sometimes finding the difference is stupid as hell, not even worth it. One could look at Rebirth Raven's passive and think that is power stealing. However, the game doesn't see it that way. Why they don't see it that way? IDK. Now, let's finally jump into a match and try to get some of these objectives going. Alright, so check this out. We're gonna get our dot out of the way. Now this is just a like an easy example of just finishing a Phantom Zone objective. So keep the whole team alive and inflict 400,000 dot. We can easily inflict dot. So we're still inflicting dot right now. We have to make sure our whole team stays alive so we can collect the times three for the objective bonuses because I'm a sweat. Oh my god, why, is, why are silver characters going in right now? No! Okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Um, why can't I do anything? I couldn't do anything. I was tapping on my specials. I was tapping on my specials for so long. Look at that. We're almost done with Dot. Special one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh! Yes. Power drain. Power steal. Give me all the power steal, please. I need the power steal. There you go, boys. This is power steal at its finest. This is how you get shit done. Okay, never mind. Power steal. Keep power stealing, please. I need to fill up these objectives quick as hell so I can end this shit video. <sighs> Keep the whole team alive, though. Keep the whole team alive, though. We still need the times three objective, okay? I need that bonus. I need it. Keep inflicting dot. We still need to cover that ground. And, um, you know, stun effects. I've just given up on stun effects. Look at that. I need, I need someone else, okay? I mean, I was thinking of rocking static, um, but I don't know. Like, Green Arrow had the bonus on him, so I just thought that I could rock Green Arrow. Clearly, this is not working out. Yo, screw all of this. I'm rocking static. I'm rocking static. I don't give a shit about the Green Arrow bonus objective, okay? I mean, I was looking forward to the bonus objective, okay? But no, not anymore, all right? If they want me to go full sweat mode, I am... Where the hell is static, by the way? I... Hello? Okay, static. There he is. Yeah. Put static in here. I don't know. Give him this. Guys, look at this shit. We have the entire metal team. If this shit couldn't get any more sweatier. Okay, special one. Get some dot, get some dot, easy dot. Tag in. Hold on, wait. Okay, S apply the stun effect. Please apply that stun effect. H handle that, idiot. Okay, hold on. Do it again, do it again. We need more stun effects. What the hell was this? Okay, stun effect, stun effect, please, please. Nice! Special one again, stun effect. 
Sun effect. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I need this so bad. Guys, look at how much power I have. I have infinite power against her. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that was a mistake. This was a mistake. I'm about to die. I am actually about to die. Tag out. Okay, hold on. Um, I mean, I had the Astro Harness, okay? So I don't know why the AI is trying to be so sweaty right now. I mean, the AI can try all it wants. I'm still going to get this objective. Where is Shazam? <laughs> Hello? What is, what is going on right now? Bro, I'm about to end the video. Hold on. Kill her! Literally kill her! Please get out of here! Special 3! I think this is the only thing that'll probably kill him. In this match, I should have gotten a little of everything. I should have gotten a little of everything. Probably not Power Steel because I did not get to use Raven. We got a little Power Steel. 80 total stun effects, yeah. Power Steel, it's so confusing sometimes. I didn't get to use Raven this match. This match was a little too AIDS. Forgive me. All right, let's try to bring ourselves down to like 30% health, please. Let's let's do that. No, no. Did I just kill myself? I just killed myself. Oh my god, bro. I am being cornered right now. Stop. Keep stunning. Just keep stunning him. I need the stun effects. Bro, this is how Phantom Zone is, all right? I'm sorry. This, this, this is just the way it has to be. I don't make the rules! I am getting a lot of stun effects, so this is a good match. We're not going to get the power steal or any of the other stuff, though. And we might die. We actually might die. So this is, this is actually another fat rest in peace coming in hot. Yep, there it is. Guys, look, look at this! Look at this! I can't move! I'm tapping my shit screen! They're just looking at each other! What is up? Why are they looking so intently at each other?